Hey guys, uh, Jeff Gibby here. Thanks for watching the video. Today I'm going to be talking about the new product that we just released with Rick Sadler called Patterns for Profits. So thanks for watching. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to spend just a minute talking a little bit about Rick. Rick's been in the business for 29 years. He's a trader. He's a coach. He teaches people to run at his website, hitandruncandlesticks.com. And what we did was we partnered with him. We, we got together with him and took four of his patterns and put them together for Metastock. And I'm going to show you what that means. But first, what I want to do is I want to talk to you a little bit about the patterns and kind of how they're designed to look at the charts and kind of what they're looking for. So there's a picture of the box. Let's kind of get straight to the patterns. The patterns are rounded bottom breakout, the T-line squeeze, the T-line bounce and the pin boss setup. So like, I have a little bit of an image of all of the patterns. I'm gonna, just gonna walk you through real quickly and show you exactly what they are. The first one we'll talk about is the rounded bottom breakout, okay? So right here, this is a chart of Walt Disney. It came up in a scan today on the patterns. And uh, what I'm actually, uh, what we're gonna look at right here is you see kind of this series of rounded bottoms. And really what it's looking for is kind of that rounded bottom. Some things that uh, Rick, likes to look at when he's actually looking at these is he's looking for voids or gaps in the chart. He's looking at any major chart patterns uh, like a, uh, or a major candlestick pattern or any type of a continuation pattern to kind of signal himself into a trade. So for right here where we're kind of seeing all of these, there's a, quite a few of these that kind of give me a little bit of a, let's say a flag that this might be a really, really good pattern. Uh, first of all, if you kind of look at the ch chart here, you kind of see kind of like a head and shoulders inverse bottom, which actually happens to be Rick's, one of Rick's favorite patterns. Okay. In addition, if you look right here at the chart, you'll notice a big engulfing pattern. Uh, this is an engulfing bullish pattern, which is a major candlestick pattern. And then, of course, what you had following this rounded bottom is a really, really nice rise up to, this, uh, up to the top of the chart. Uh, one of Rick's favorite patterns. Uh, actually, he calls it his favorite pattern, to be really, really specific about it. Next one I want to talk a little bit about is the T-line squeeze. Now, just to kind of explain to you what a T-line is, the T-line is this black moving average. It's an eight-period exponential moving average. Rick invented the concept of the T-line. With the T-line squeeze, what he's looking for is he's looking for a period of consolidation or tightening of the chart. And he's looking for, the way he kind of measures that is he's looking for uh, a, an engulfing a bar right here that engulfs both the eight period exponential moving average and the 20 period exponential moving average. So when you have something like that, that's actually what he's looking for. And obviously with this one, we had a, it was followed by again, a, a significant move to the upside, which so many of these patterns actually accomplish. The third pattern is what he calls the T-line bounce. <clears throat> The T-line bounce is basically he's looking for a rally. He's looking for a pull back into that uh, T-line or value selling into the T-line. And then uh, after that, usually what you'll have is that you'll have the T-line that acts as support and then pushes the prices higher. It's what they like to call a pullback opportunity on a chart. And as you can see right here, works really, really nice in this example. Okay. And then the final pattern is what he calls a pin boss setup. These are probably the least common of the four patterns that he looks for. Uh, what he's looking for is a little bit of a relief rally, okay, followed by a strong downward momentum. And then at that point, you're going to get your pin boss setup. And it, uh, usually what you're looking for is for it to bounce just like a pinball off of the bottom of the chart up towards profits for you. Generally, when, when what he looks for when he's taking this trade is a 10% plus profit type of a scenario. So those are the setups. That's kind of how it works. I want to show you how that works all inside of Metastock because what we've done is we've basically made this into a product that allows you to do scanning, expert advisors, um, and uh, get commentary and receive feedback on it. So let's go ahead and kind of move into the Metastock platform for you. If you're not familiar with the Metastock platform, this is what it looks like. And because this is automated, now I have what we call the ability to do an exploration. So I'm going to go ahead and open up our Power Console right here. I'm going to go ahead and kind of make it a little bit larger for you. Okay. The name of the scan that this is created is called HRC Patterns for Profit. So I'm just going to click a check mark right here. 
And one of the things that I can do now that it's automated is I can easily scan any of 380,312 instruments automatically. So if this is a kind of pattern and you happen to be in London and you want to find stocks on the LSE, you can do that. If you happen to be Asia and you want to find stocks, uh, let's say on some of the Asian markets, let's say Japan, you have the ability to do that. If you're interested in foreign currency, for example, you can run these scans against foreign currency or futures. Uh, just the coverage of data that we have with Metastock is immense. To make this demo a little bit fast, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come down here to our index constituents. And what we're going to do is we're going to run a scan against the Dow Industrial. So what I'm going to say is for these four patterns that I just showed you, which ones actually happen today? So I'm going to go ahead and start that right now. And it's going to go through all 30 of the stocks on the Dow Industrials. It's going to give us um, a report. That report's ready to look at. And I'll just show you kind of exactly what that means. Okay. So out of the Dow 30 today, we had four setups. They were Walt Disney, United Health Group, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson. Okay. Up here, if you notice the column header, this tells you what it found. So right here, this is the pinball setup. There's nothing in that. These columns are all zero, so there wasn't any pinball in that in that scan that we ran. Right here, we've got the rounded bottom breakout, okay? And Pfizer had a rounded bottom breakout right there, okay? Here we have the T-line break and the T-line squeeze. Again, if there's a one in this column, it means there was a, that, that pattern existed. If it's a zero, it means it didn't show up on the chart today. So right here, we've got a, uh, all of the charts that are available. I'm just gonna go real quickly and show you how that looks on a chart. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the chart. I'll go ahead and close this down. It's going to go ahead and grab the data for me. And I'm going to attack the expert advisor called Patterns for Profit. Okay? And when I do that, what it's going to do is it's going to label all of the patterns for me. You see that we have this uh, TLS today, which means it's a T-line squeeze. Back here we had those uh, rounding breakout bottoms. And again, this is again the scan I ran to kind of get ready for the demo. So this chart might look like the other one that we looked at just a few minutes ago. The other thing I can do is I can actually come in here uh, I can scroll back and see any time any other patterns formed and see how those looked on a chart. I can also come into our commentary. It's going to kind of remind us what that pattern is and what we should do with it. So let me go ahead and go into our commentary. To do that, I'm going to click on View, Expert Commentary. It's going to go ahead and tell us right here there's an MST line squeeze. It's detected on Disney on the current bar. And then it's going to tell us... Um, uh, Rick Sadler, founder of Hit and Run Cattlestick, has found that the probability of price moving up and down and returning to the T-line is extremely high. What the scan looks for is the price closing below the T-line or the price below the T-line. Also included in the scan is the 20 SMA. When the price engulfs both the T-line and the 20 SMA, we have found there is a high probability of the T-line run and the T-line. Okay, uh, gives you some more advice, but kind of just outlines what that pattern is. Of course, we can kind of move that back and see what it would have said here on the the uh, rounded breakout. It gives you all those considerations that I was kind of noting before, the major gaps, the major continuation patterns, that kind of stuff. What we try and do when we create these is to give you good advice at the time of the pattern so that you understand what to do with it. So, in any case, that's the product. It includes the exploration, the expert advisor, the layout, 